66 people were just outside my local liquor store waiting for more than an hour to grab booze. Our society's sick. Listen, we're in quarantine right now and people have more time that they can possibly imagine, but yet they're going to go to the liquor store and spend an hour on a bright day to get some booze to escape the reality that they're in. This is a telltale sign of how bad our society is crumbling at the very core of what society is. We don't have community anymore. We don't have common sense anymore. We don't have responsibility anymore. Everything has been outsourced. Our responsibility, our accountability has been outsourced to the father figure of society, which is the government. Think about this for a second. You have so much free time on your hand. Everybody's quarantined around the world, yet you're gonna spend an hour of your day standing in line looking like a fool to get some fucking alcohol? I'm not here bashing alcohol. If you wanna drink, drink. But there's nothing better to do with your time than spend an hour looking like a fucking pleb? Looking like a, a schmuck? A robot? The lineup went across the block. It was fucking retarded. I couldn't believe it. Pardon my French, but like, I just don't understand this mentality as opposed to doing something productive. How about go for a walk? You know, I had to go meet somebody today, quickly, to pick up some equipment. And I could have taken my car, or what I did instead, I walked 45 minutes on a gorgeous day, get some exercise, listen to a podcast, move my body, clear my mind. And people are choosing the wrong things in life, the wrong priorities in life. We have such a malaise in society today. The, the, our society is extremely sick. We have obesity as one of the top three killers in the world. Like, for, for, for the history of mankind, we've had the opposite problems. We had no food. <laughs> yeah, here we are, we have, the, we have too much food. Too much sugar, too much high fructose, high fructose corn syrup, too much trans fats, too much of everything. Gluttony, we're just eating all the time. And so I want you to reflect, I want you to ask yourself, which type of person are you? Because you know where this is heading. This is heading full-blown controlled society. When people uh, outsource their responsibilities, so Rene Rajar talks about this in Mimesis, or Mimetic Theory, passing the puck or passing the sin. It's monkey see, monkey do. It's keeping up with the Joneses. So you are the product your environment. This is why I always talk about it's imperative that you spend time with people around you who put you up as opposed to pull you down. Or tall poppy syndrome, they talk about in Australia. Or North America, you even talk about the crabs in the bucket. And so you are the product of your environment. Most people spend time around other people who are in a depressive state, who want to escape reality, who don't want to take accountability, who don't want responsibility, who rather get a paycheck from the government because that paycheck gives them more money than if they, did, if they actually did work. The incentives are all screwed up. And they're the ones going right now to the liquor store, spending minimum an hour, six feet apart, like a schmuck, so they can spend that quote unquote free money from the government to drink themselves silly because they want to escape the reality that they're living in. This is reality, my friends. The sun is out right now, shining. And so people rather do the opposite. They rather go and stand in line and drink. And I see it all the time. I just see people not taking the responsibility they need to take. And they wonder why their life is the way it is. I made a video yesterday about doing the work. There's no easy answers in life. It's difficult, it's painful. As the Buddha say, life is suffering. And people view the word suffering in a negative connotation. In fact, it's a positive connotation. Life is a teacher. It's not what happens to you, it's what happens for you. It's a teacher. The teacher is there. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And most people aren't ready for the difficult tasks, tasks on hand on becoming a better version of yourself. And you can see it all around you today. Take, it, take an audit of society. Take an audit. See the people that care about themselves. You know, in, in, um, in Hinduism or in the Upanishads, we talk about the Brahman, the Godhead. The Godhead is you, you are God. You are the embodiment of light, you are love itself. And if people respected themselves as God, as they respect other external elements or other quote, capital R religions, if they gave that much respect to themselves as they did these other external entities, the world would be a better place. Because if you love yourself, if you respect yourself, would you be drinking every day? No. Would you be eating? Horrible foods? No. Would you be abusive in your relationship? No. You'd be doing the opposite. You'd be respecting your temple, eating good healthy foods, getting outside, walking every day, doing exercise, 
but people don't do this because it's hard. It's hard at the beginning. Everything's hard at the beginning. Learning a new language, learning an instrument, you know, learning a martial arts, whatever it is, it's difficult. But that's the process, you know. It's not about the end, it's about the journey. Enjoying the journey, enjoy, enjoying the process. We're human beings. We are amazing nomadic creatures. We're tribal and we love exploring. We love learning new things. This is the very core nature of the homo sapien race. But yet we have been dumbfounded and sterilized mentally to live a, to live a very mediocre life to fit in line, to follow the statehood, which is the government, to say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, I will accept your conditions and I will live in the matrix. Because it is the matrix, to be honest with you. Um, everything we see around us is a misconceived notion, which is the perception of your own reality. Einstein talks about in relativity, it is true. What you perceive as true is true. What I perceive as true is true. This is why when people argue in religion, everybody's right in their own mind. This is why, when, when I talk about evil in my previous video, when people there's no people out there saying, I'm evil. No, in their perception, they're good. But to other people's perception, they're evil and vice versa. There's also another Buddhist saying is, no matter what you do in your life, it's always going to be evil for somebody. Always, always. Perception is the reality. And uh, you can look up uh, biocentrism uh, theory where we literally create the reality that we're viewing, like per second or whatever um, measurements. But the very nature of us observing you know which goes into quantum physics we create then the reality is created we're not living in it we're creating as we go and so i challenge you guys man you know don't be one of these people get caught up being in a sick society we are in a very very sick society and things are going to get much worse we're going to be entering depression if things continue on early signs of people lining up on a beautiful saturday to get alcohol spending an hour of their fucking time Poof, psh, psh, psh insane insane man i couldn't believe it i just couldn't fucking believe it it's crazy and so hopefully hopefully and i know you guys you're, you're part of my channel you're part of my tribe you're part of my community you don't end up like these people who are zombies they're brain dead they're not thinking from themselves they're they're in that monkey see monkey do as renee gerard talks about it's mimesis at its core literally and I'm going to leave you with a quote, one of my favorite quotes. And it states, those who give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Benjamin Franklin. And most of society is giving up everything. They're giving up their liberty. They're giving up their safety. They're giving up their sovereignty for a little paycheck that they get from the government and quote unquote safety and convenience. And I hope that you're a sovereign individual, that you look after yourself, that you take full onus, as Jocko Wilkins talks about, you take, you take extreme ownership of your life and don't rely on anybody else, but rely on yourself. And I'll leave it at that. Leave a comment below this video, hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. And time for some exercise soon. Look at that, kettlebells. Always gonna have some kettlebells.